What's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video I want to show you how to mirror your main outputs with any digital outputs that you have on your audio interface. For the most part, most interfaces do this nowadays. But occasionally you might run into an interface like the Project Mix I.O. or I believe the 002 or the 003 had this particular issue where you couldn't mirror your SPDIF output and it sucks. If we take a look at the M-Audio's Firewire control panel, it has a lot of cool options here, but no matter what you do, we cannot get the signal to route to spit if output. Unless I'm missing something, I've done it all and I can't figure it out. But I am going to show you a way to do this. But before I do, I'm going to just select a random part here and let's take a look. I'm going to press play. All right, as you can see, it's working just fine, except you guys didn't hear anything. There's no audio coming out the spit of output. I use another interface to capture the audio from Pro Tools when I make these videos. Now, the first thing that you might do is create a master channel. And we can just change the output. We can call it a day and it should work just fine. Let's check it out. So that doesn't work. And that's why we can't use the master channel. So we're gonna create an aux track, a stereo aux track, and we're gonna use this to replace the master channel. I'm gonna bring this all the way to the top. The next thing, IO, click the output tab. This is what the SPDIF is called, the my interface. You can call it whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna keep it to SPDIF out, left and right. The next thing I wanna do, all these tracks, I wanna assign the output to a bus. I already created that bus before this video. So as you can see, they're all selected and holding down shift alt. I'm going to click on the output, go to bus. And I created this bus called SPDIF. And as you can see, they're all now routed to that output. So let's take a look at our new master bus. What we need to do, we need to go to input. We need to select bus and Select SPDIF. You might be asking yourself now, but what's the difference between the master bus and this aux track that we created? I'm gonna show you. If we go to the output and select the SPDIF left and right track, let's see what happens. You hear it, but I don't. If you paid attention to the one and two outs, nothing's coming out. As you can see, the spit if is working, but the main outs aren't working. So how do we solve this? Very simple. This is a trick that I learned back in the LE days. Hold the start key, go to the output, and select the main outs. Check it out. There's a little plus. So Pro Tools is sending audio to the main outs and to the spit if at the same time. And if we open the control panel and we press play, we should see one and two and spit if at the same time. Nice. So problem solved. And unfortunately, we cannot do this with the master fader if we try to. Check this out. Hold down the start key. It won't allow us to select another output for whatever reason. I don't understand why. It's just part of the coding. And that kind of sucks. I wish they would fix that. So there you go, guys. That's how you get your main outputs and your spit if working together within Pro Tools. Other DAWs might have an option that would allow you to mirror both of these outputs together without doing any routing whatsoever. But in Pro Tools, this is how we have to do it, and it works just fine. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.